Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome. I've been doing some homework. Um, the next thing that we need for the rocket base, uh, at least for the rocket control units, are red circuits. Um, in fact, that's all that we need in order to get this operation started. Um, and to get red circuits, I have set up uh, this little arrangement. Um, as you can see, it's all beaconed and moduled. I've got 22 machines making red circuits, and then I've got four machines making copper wire, um, all fed by robots, of course. Um, <clears throat> to get the copper plate and the green circuits, um, I just converted these chests to requester chests. As you can see, um, so these requests will continue to feed the trains, and then when we're making red circuits, uh, we'll also be pulling out of them uh, for the robots. Um, and the reason I came up with this quantity is because I've been using Helmod uh, to do the calculations. So this tells me I need 22 machines making red circuits. Um, I do have enough machines already making the green circuits to keep this running. Um, so the next thing we need is plastic, uh, so I can bring plastic over here. Uh, that's really the last ingredient we need to start making the red circuits. So for the plastic, uh, we're going to need six chemical plants, uh, again, fully moduled and beaconed. And we're going to need 10 oil refineries. Um, so what I've done is, uh, in my spare time, I started to set up an area to make plastic. So I added this, this new rail line, uh, our main base is up here. So the plastic is down here. And I put it here because we have a lot of oil. Uh, we've got 2286 there and 1580 right there. We have coal and we have water. So we have pretty much everything that we need to make plastic. Um, you know, petroleum from the oil and the coal and the water for cracking and advanced oil processing. So um, I've already gotten some of the coal mining started. I have 200 robots here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. Uh, we'll see, but, but the mining's already begun. They're filling up chests. And I have also put pump jacks and gotten them connected to tanks. Um, but I haven't, I haven't uh, taking those over to the to the main area yet. So we will start by doing that. Um, I've got some pumps here, so I'm going to put a pump on our output pipe. And from there, I'm just going to start running this north. Actually, I think I'll make use of blueprints to make that easier. Can't see what I'm doing here. All right, and then so maybe one more length going up this way. turn and continue on in this direction. Sorry if I'm doing this very slowly. Should probably zoom out more. Okay. Whoops. Actually, I want to put a pump there as well. I think two is how much space I need. Uh, where's the pump? OK. 
Okay. set up the refining and uh, the proper ratio with beacons is for just petroleum <clears throat> is five refineries uh, one heavy to light cracking and seven light to petroleum cracking and that's if they're all moduled and beaconed and I think I'm gonna need two of those um, so actually Yeah, actually, I want to make this... No, this is okay. I can put this here. All right. Uh, let's see which side the oil is going to be on. All right. I got it right the first time. Look at that. Okay. So we've got oil coming in there. And where are my other refineries? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up f the 517 to begin with, even though I actually need more than that. Um, and to be honest, I, I don't think I'm going to need 10 because this calculation I don't think takes any cracking into account. It doesn't, so I don't think I'm actually going to need ten. So we'll we'll start with five plus cracking, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So as we normally do, we'll run the pipes like this. Okay, and then water this way. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and hook up a water pipe. short pump. I think that one pump is enough. Actually, we can check. Uh, one pump gives us 1200 a second. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, how we're doing. All right, so nothing got mixed. That's good. Uh, let's get some power down here. Okay, and then we'll set up some beacons. Okay, that's all the beacons we can have on that side. All right, so we're getting, yeah, we're actually getting five, we're actually gonna have 10 beacons on each one, I believe. So let me update this. 
because I said that we were going to have eight, and actually we're going to have ten. So that drops the number down to eight. So yeah, so maybe maybe five with cracking will be enough. Okay, now on the output, normally I do one, two, and three like that, but we can't do that in this case because we need to put beacons here after the one and the two. Are they? Okay. No. Let's take advantage of our robots here. Okay. And then the petroleum uh, will have to come out to the other side like that. this thing as usual. All right, I'm not sure yet where those are gonna need to go. All right, let's put our productivity modules in. All right, and then we need to power up the beacons. I think I have substations don't I yeah there we go So now we need the uh, you know what I don't want the petroleum coming out up there let me disconnect all this um, I want the pipes for cracking to go up there. So let's send the light oil straight up. Okay, and then heavy oil we'll bring over to the side. go up and then the petroleum will go up to and that'll come out there okay so now we need to set up the cracking um, so let's start with the let's start with the one that's going to go heavy. All right, so we need Can I do that? No, I don't think I can because I've got to get I've got to get water in here somehow too. All right, so let me let me hook up the the light oil first. Yeah, we need to we need to leave room for for water to come in. 
Okay, so light to petroleum. Petroleum, or the oil is on this side. All right, and we need seven of those. So there's one, two, hmm. How do we set this up? It's not gonna work. I think it's gotta be like this. No, that's not right. Uh, let me look at this blueprint. I didn't want to just use the blueprint, but. Um, Let's see, so this, let's take a look at this. Okay, so that's got petroleum, oh, okay. So we gotta flip these around. So maybe I do need petroleum coming out. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's pick this up again. Bear with me. This is the first time I've set this up with beacons. Okay. Um, and I will post a link to that blueprint. I just don't want to use it. I want to put it together myself so I can learn something. Okay. Um, yeah. So in this case, we do want the petroleum crossing the line of beacons. All right. And then... Outputs are going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Seven. Okay. All right. And these are each affected by four beacons, uh, soon to be eight. All right, so let's put modules in there. Okay, and then, I mean, we can just do that for the output. So that way the output for the refineries and the output for the cracking are all going to the same place. Okay, and then 
Oh, this has to be connected as well. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'll just leave the output there for now. And then the heavy to light. Maybe that can go this way. No, it can't. That has to go... Yeah, that has to be reversed also. will work. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Let's see. Except for the part with the water. Or maybe. Let's see. Light. Will it reach? This is going to work. All right. And then we need one more row of beacons. hit all these with substations. Looks like maybe not all. Okay. Well, we got almost all of it powered up. Let me get another substation out here. And here, I'll just use a power pole. Okay, now we need to get the heavy oil up there. And let's see if I can do that without mixing things. And I think I can. Fantastic. All right, now the water can feed in from up there. And if none of these fluids mix, I will 
consider it to be a small miracle. Here's the moment of truth. Okay. That's working. Um, okay. I think we just need a place to put the petroleum. These have water and oil. Petroleum's coming out here. Heavy oil is not going any place. Why is that? Maybe it's just because it's blocked with light oil. Oh, the light oil has not made its way upward. Light oil goes up there. And... Okay. Yeah, we still need to connect the light oil. All right, I'm actually handcrafting pipes. There we go. All right. Yeah, so now it looks like all the pipes are full. So let's um, let's put petroleum into a tank just so we can watch this working for a moment or two. going like the gangbusters that needs productivity modules nice and look how fast that tank is filling up okay so we've got the petroleum part of the plastic set up uh, we've ran out of time in the next episode, we will bring this petroleum over this way and start making plastic with it and loading it on the train. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.